Hi, my name is Tiffany Domina, and today I want to do a walkthrough, a tour, and a general review of ShareASell.com. ShareASell is an affiliate network that I've been working with for a short period of time, but I just wanted to um, show you how it works and how you can make money with it. Um, if you're here, it's likely that you are familiar somewhat with affiliate marketing. Maybe you've heard the term before. You have a general understanding of how it works. Or maybe um, you are already making money with it and you use other affiliate networks and you want to diversify and learn about ShareASell. So this video will be perfect for you. Um, first, I want to talk about how affiliate marketing works. I'll tell you the pros and cons, what to expect. Um, what is ShareASell.com, how it works, and then we'll talk about um, the good and the bad, what the BBB is saying about ShareASell, what third-party reviewers are saying about ShareASell, and then we'll do a general tour. So if that sounds good to you, let's get started. So basically, affiliate marketing Affiliate marketing is where you have uh, an affiliate and you have a merchant and they collaborate to each make more money. So the merchant is the one who, who creates the products or delivers the service and then the affiliate is the one that creates content around a topic, a niche or an interest. They create content around that that creates an audience and trust and context and authority and based off of the their context authority and trust in their content then they can drive um, interest of a audience to a product or service so for example um, for me I um, write content on entrepreneurship at howtoentrepreneur.org and I create content to help entrepreneurs to start a business from idea to enterprise. Now people who come to How to Entrepreneur are looking for ways that they can grow their businesses and I know that so I look for solutions and products and services that can help them to grow from an idea to an enterprise when the people come to the content that I create at How to Entrepreneur and they're interested in um, maybe it's phone service, maybe it's tax software, maybe it's accounting software, maybe it's internet marketing training, then I can recommend based off of my research, based off of my working with um, different products and services, or based off of some uh, trust that I have with a vendor and when I recommend my audience to this vendor to buy the products and services then I can be paid a commission so that's basically how affiliate marketing works now there can be where there's three parts to it instead of just having the affiliate and having the merchant you can also have an affiliate network as the middleman and a lot of times that's really effective um, in the case of where where there's a relationship, a partnership between an affiliate and a merchant and an affiliate network in the middle, the benefit is usually companies like ShareASale or different affiliate networks will have proprietary software that they use to track um, transactions. So when I send customers over to a merchant, then um, share a sale or another affiliate network will make sure that I'm properly credited for the referrals that I send to the merchant. Um, there's also where um, they they also do recruiting of affiliates and recruiting of merchants. So the affiliate networks oftentimes have thousands or hundreds of different merchants that they work with so when you join the affiliate network it's one central location where you can log on and see how each of your um, affiliate promotions is performing so in contrast if you work directly with a merchant um, you might 
have several different merchants that you work with and several different logins, passwords that you would have to enter in. And then some merchants um, with their affiliate software will give you some information and some data about the performance of your affiliate program. But typically with the affiliate network, since it's um, a focus of their business, then they can provide you a lot of data, a lot of reports, and they also will give you customer support and assistance with choosing merchants that would be um, that would be relevant to the website that you have, to the online business that you have, or even the offline business that you have. So that's an additional benefit of working with an affiliate network. So I actually really enjoy working with affiliate networks. Um, they make sure also that the pay is timely, um, that you're paid consistently um, based off of the work that you've done. And they also uh, have an application process for the merchants. So you can be a little more confident that the merchants at an affiliate network most of the time. Now, some affiliate networks have don't have a vetting process at all. So you just have to be careful with specifically which affiliate networks you work with and do your due diligence even, even when you are working with an affiliate network. So with ShareSell, it's a very good affiliate network. They've been in the industry for over 19 years and they have a very good reputation of um, having good merchants and also having a large pool of publishers that will promote products and services for the merchants. So as you can see here are um, third party reviews. There's lots of different reviews. These are video. So you can see there's lots of different reviews that people have made of ShareSell and generally they have a pretty good um, reputation. You don't find a lot of complaints about ShareSell. So, so that's something that you can uh, have some peace of mind about is that generally um, people are having a good experience with ShareSell. They they have good customer service. You'll, it, I've read many of these reviews, and that's commonly what they say is that they've had a good experience with the customer service. They have a good experience with choosing lots of good merchants there. Um, they have a lot of good commission structures there. So you can find a lot of um, good affiliate programs at ShareSell. So let's keep going. If any of this is really interesting to you, um, you're really interested in learning more about affiliate marketing and how you can make money with it, um, I do have a partnership with a company called Wealthy Affiliate where I offer premium coaching there. And I also, um, members who follow me there are able to get hosting. They're able to um, have different proprietary tools for market research. They're able to have um, different content writing tools, um, domain registration, and also the most comprehensive affiliate marketing training that I've found in the market. So if you're interested in learning more about affiliate marketing and how you can make money with it, then you can go to howtoentrepreneur.org slash wealthy affiliate. I'll leave the information in the description box below. And you can also stop by howtoentrepreneur.org up here where it says free training on websites. You can check it out. And if you're interested in learning more about Wealthy Affiliate, maybe it's the first time you've heard of it, or maybe you've heard of it before but didn't really have a good impression, I recommend you checking out my Wealthy Affiliate Tour. I did an hour-long tour so you can see all the benefits and features. Um, I broke down how the training goes, and um, you can see how there's thousands of hours of training there and how the community works like a social media style. So it's, I give a lot of information in that Wealthy Affiliate Tour, and you should definitely check it out if you want to learn more about affiliate marketing. I love to help you out and help you build your online business. So 
um, going back to Sharacell. So as I mentioned, um, they've been in the industry for 19 years. They're located in Chicago. Um, that is a privately held company, but they were recently acquired by AWIN, who is a global affiliate network. So Sharacell will probably be growing and have more opportunities even globally now that they've been acquired by AWIN. So that happened in 2017. Um, now, how does Sharacell work? Sharacell um, has two different components. Of course, they work for merchants and then they work for affiliates or publishers. For the merchants, um, they are able to help them to recruit uh, relevant affiliates for their affiliate program. So when you become a merchant there, um, uh, Sharacell has been in the business for a long time. They have a lot of publishers that they work with. So then by being a part of that directory of merchants at Sharacell, then they have, um, they're able to connect you with publishers that would be relevant to what products and services you offer. So they are able to give you the data, the tracking information, so you know how your affiliate program is performing. Um, they're able to direct you on how to create terms and services and things like that so you can protect yourself legally. Um, so they offer a lot for their merchants. And for the publishers, similarly, they offer um, they offer the tracking links. They offer a dashboard where you can see how each affiliate program you're a part of is performing. And I'll be able to show you that when we do the walkthrough and the tour. Um, they have lots of really interesting commission structures, some cost per action and some uh, cost per sale. So they have a variety of different commission structures there. So you can find um, you can find a lot of different things. They also have merchants in various different niches. So um, it's likely that if you're a publisher that you can find affiliate programs regardless of your niche. Um, so how do you make money with ShareSell? Um, if you're a merchant, you make money because you become a part of um, this directory of merchants. And so when the publishers are creating content, then they can monetize their content and refer their audience to you. When their audience is referred to you and you make sales, that's more money. Um, in addition to that, if you have an existing business, you can... Um, like maybe you have a service-based business like an accounting business or a legal business or even a construction business and you decide to sign up for affiliate programs you can place these links on your website when you have customers who maybe don't purchase your service or maybe they do um, maybe you have customers who come and they're DIYers you can say you can stop by my website and check out the for construction work for construction or, or home improvement companies you can say you can stop by my website and check out the paint vendors that I have there when they click on the links then you can be paid a commission for that sale similarly if you're an accountant and you have a lot of clients who are um, who need to use accounting software which would be likely then you can have all of the recommended accounting software on your website so when uh, when clients visit your website then or you can tell them if you're looking for accounting software you can visit my website I have a list of recommendations there and when they click on your links then you can be paid a commission um, on top of that if you're a publishing business maybe you have a website like how to entrepreneur or you have a website where you create content around a topic that you're passionate about um, you can monetize your content by having relevant products and services that you refer um, your audience to. And it can be done very ethically. It can be done as a, uh, as a benefit, and that's how it should be done. So when you recommend products and services, you want to make sure that you've done your due diligence so you know that it's a solution. It will really solve a problem for the people you're recommending there so that um, 
so that you have a high lifetime customer value in your business. If you make a recommendation and it's not a good recommendation, it's likely they won't come back to you for a recommendation again, and or they won't follow your recommendations because they'll believe that um, maybe you're in it for the money or maybe you're in it for an ulterior motive. So it's really important that when you um, choose merchants that you uh, decide to promote that you put your customers interest first instead of your own and I know that um, ideally you want it to be a win-win where the customer gets a high value they are their problems are solved and at the same time it's a good commission uh, for you as well so that's the ideal way to do it for merchants um, Okay, so we already went over this. So for the publisher, it usually works where there's four steps to really make your money with affiliate marketing, and that's whether you decide to choose products and services from share sale or not. And the general four steps um, are taught by wealthy affiliate. They teach you a lot more depth about how to accomplish these four steps, but generally it works that you choose an interest, you build a website, you drive traffic, and you earn revenue. So, um, uh, you, when you choose an interest, um, you basically choose either, um, you choose something that you're really passionate about, whether it's a problem you're really passionate about solving, like maybe curing cancer. You could have a website like curecancer.com. You can uh, have a problem that you really feel passionate about, like um, maybe littering or um, green living is a uh, you want more people to waste less and to clear the landfills so you can have a website like clearthelandfill.com and that would be a way that you can um, create a website around a problem or you can create a website around a passion that's like um, maybe knitting or golfing or um, or let's say you like to do ballet um, you can have a website around those passions and then um, you will create content around that topic so that's the what the publishers do the content can be written content it can be uh, video it can be audio but you you would create content whichever you feel the most comfortable with first and then you can scale from there and add on different content types as you get comfortable um, so the first thing is you choose an interest and ideally even if you decide that you want to have an authority site um, like for example hot entrepreneur going back to hot entrepreneur um, it's a it's an it's a site on entrepreneurship it's a very broad niche but um, in order to make a broad niche site work you still have to choose a smaller niche inside of that to begin with and then you branch out from there so um, so that's how you would build an authority site It's basically a compilation of several successful niches so you would start with one category let's say you want to create a health and fitness site um, maybe you you decide to narrow it down um, to yoga and then you narrow it down from there to maybe um, yoga mats or um, uh, maybe like yoga dieting or um, yoga positions and you narrow it down from there and then you would focus on creating content around that smaller niche for a, for a while until you're getting good rankings until you're starting to accomplish something with your income and then you would scale and add on from there so um, you choose an interest then you build a website um, another reason why I partner with wealthy affiliate is because they are a domain registration platform and they are a hosting company so once you decide to build that you want to build a website and you want to do affiliate marketing online then you have to um, you have to register a domain and your domain is basically your digital real estate um, it's just like if you decide you want to buy a house then you have to buy land um, the domain is that land in the digital world um, 
it is the the property and so you buy that domain for example mine's is how to entrepreneur dot org um, yours could be whatever you want dot com um, and you would you would buy this domain when you buy it you're the only one that can buy it and you build your website on it your website is instead of using physical bricks to build a building your website is a compilation of content 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 those are the bricks that build a website into an authoritative website and those are um, also the bricks that build it into an asset that makes it where it can have a very high ROI down the line so first you choose an interest then you build a website and um, wealthy affiliate they are a domain registration platform but they also are a hosting platform so after you have your website built then uh, the storage space that you need um, you have to have hosting to store your files to store your content online so similar to um, I mean you might have you might be familiar with Google Drive or um, Dropbox when you store your content there um, the only thing about it is if someone's searching for your content online like for example if you have an article inside of your Google Drive and it's about healthy eating um, I can't just search that and your content pop up because Google Drive makes your content private but with a hosting service someone can um, someone can search for your content and if you have it optimized for the search engines then your content can pop up 24 hours a day so really um, you, you need to either own the servers and know how to maintain those servers that can uh, bring your content to the internet users on demand 24 hours a day or you have to work with a hosting company who will do that for you and manage those servers so that your content can display to the internet users whenever they want to see it so my recommendation for hosting my number one recommendation is wealthy affiliate but if you go here to my website you can see that um, I have other uh, six recommendations for web hosting that you can take a look at if you are still wanting to comparison shop for hosting um, okay so how do you make money with uh, we explain how to make money with ShareSell and so we were at this part here build a website and so at Wealthy Affiliate the training will also teach you how to create content that sells how to um, how to use WordPress that teaches you those technical skills that you need to know to manage your website um, and then it goes further to teach you how to get rankings and visitors because that's going to be an important part to you being able to get sales online so search engine optimization is a common way you create content and then you optimize it for the search engines mind you the search engines are composed of bots and algorithms and so they don't work just like we do um, they you have to optimize the content a specific way in order for people to be able to search online and then your content pop up so those technical skills um, are taught by a wealthy affiliate and so I recommend if you are unfamiliar with how to optimize your content for the search engines that you learn how to do that in addition to that you can also um, drive traffic through paid advertising whether that's through social media platforms whether that's through Google or Bing and you can also learn those skills at Wealthy Affiliate as well um, and then you earn revenue so once the traffic once you have your website set up you have the traffic coming through you have a core um, interest that you write about then people will be attracted to that interest people who have common interest will be attracted to that website and they'll read the content and if you build if you do well building the context the authority and the trust inside of your content then when you make recommendations 
people will believe you. Um, just like, <laughs> you know, when you talk to your friends and you say, I saw a shirt you would really like. And it was it was at this store right down down here, and I know it's just your style. Um, then it's likely that they'll take your recommendation because you you've built that context, that authority, and that trust. If they know that you're familiar with their style, then they'll want to follow through with your recommendation. And so that's how it works when you build up an audience online. Um, you really uh, have to learn how to know that audience and how to make the observations about what their problems and what solutions they're looking for might be. And once you get really good, um, of course it takes practice, but once you get really good at analyzing um, the data and also at engaging with your audience, then you'll be even better at making suitable recommendations, relevant recommendations for them. And as time goes on, you can earn more and more revenue as a um, as a quality um, advisor to that group of people. Okay, so how much can you make with ShareASale.com? There are lots of factors that determine that. There uh, are lots of mathematical factors, and some of them include the amount of traffic you have, the percentage of traffic that clicks to the offer, the percentage of traffic that signs up, the number of people that buy, the price of the item, and the commission amount. And so um, it's, it's not easy to just say, this is how much you can make, but there are, um, you know, there are income reports and things like that from affiliate marketers online that you can look at and you can see that there are, it, there is a wide range of potential. Um, there are income reports where people are making upwards of a hundred thousand a month. Then there are income reports where people are making a, a couple hundred dollars or even less. So it depends on your work ethic. It depends on the, um, it depends on your niche, um, the interest that you choose, the audience that you choose. Um, it depends on the amount of traffic you, um, you build. And the amount of traffic is directly correlated with the amount of content that you create. The content has to solve a problem. And so all of these factors go into determining how much money you can make. But really, it's a lot of potential, a lot of possibility in the affiliate marketing industry. And since ShareASell is such a large affiliate network and they have so many different programs, so many different merchants, so many different commissions and um, lots of products that and services that you can promote, there's a lot of potential with how much you can make. Um, so the goals that you should have if you want to um, make good money with ShareASell is to build a good amount of traffic, to work on your conversion rates, so the maximum amount of people click um, from your from your content to the offer. So um, you want to choose carefully between cost per lead and cost per sale and possibly mix offers like that. Um, you want to build a reputation, a good reputation, and to um, Really be careful about your ethics and your consistency so that people will build that trust with you. And you want to choose well-priced items that you recommend so that you need less sales, less sales volume to achieve your financial goals. Um, I've seen some people who uh, decide to get into niches like reading cards or um, books or something like that. And it takes a lot of sales volume in order to um, in order to make good money off of something like that. So um, you can integrate a low cost items into your mix, but um, it's not recommended that you would make that a full, um, a full website or a full publishing business out of that. So when you consistently perform, you'll be able to see your income rise and, and I have here that there's really no glass ceiling. If at any point you want to go back and revisit this information or you want to see it in writing 
or you want to um, click on any of these links to go and apply to share a sale um, you can stop by howtoentrepreneur.org and check out this full article um, I may be even leaving some details out um, just because I don't want to read it verbatim so if you want to get started with share a sale as a merchant um, it's a one-time access fee of 550 plus you uh, put in a deposit which would enable the payment of the publishers. So in total, you'll pay $650 to get started as a merchant. Then from there, you'll be included into the directory of merchants at ShareSell. As a publisher, you complete um, the registration I have here. And once you complete that registration, then they'll either approve or disapprove. And it's the same for the merchants. They don't have to accept um, everyone that applies but generally speaking they do have a high acceptance rate so that um, most of the time isn't a problem okay so share cell pays by direct deposit and they pay monthly every 20th of the month so it is a consistent um, pay structure so if you decide to become an affiliate and focus your attention on um, share so affiliate programs you can not expect that this will be a consistent income it's not like a side hustle where um, sometimes there's an opportunity and sometimes it's not um, affiliate marketing through share so can be very consistent and very lucrative for you the good um, the good and the bad the pros and the cons okay so um, ShareSell has a great reputation. They have many reputable products and services. They have cost per action and cost per lead products. And I, I didn't explain what the difference is, but cost per action um, does not necessarily require a sale. With cost per action, you can refer um, customers to a merchant and they can fill out a survey or they can give their email address or um, they have different arrangements but cost per action usually um, you refer a customer and they complete an action that um, that the merchant wants to see oftentimes it happens with like insurance companies or um, credit card companies or um, you know different companies like that there's lots of different companies that use cost per action um, affiliate marketing is a way to um, pay out their affiliates but when that happens uh, cost per action could be something like uh, the customer completing a request for a quote or the customer completing an application for a credit card instead of actually having to make a sale then all you have to do is refer the lead um, some people prefer cost per action or cost per lead um, products over cost for sale because they say um, there's less trust that you have to build there's less context less authority you have to have in order to sell cost per lead products um, I'm not sure I don't have a preference like that I like both <laughs> um, so you can try out both if, if you decide this is something you want to do in your affiliate marketing career you can try out both and um, decide if which one is best for you and which one is best for the people that you work with okay so share sell also does provide the opportunity to earn a full-time income they do have um, products and services that you can easily um, do the math on and be able to create a business plan that would give you a full-time income the bad is that the, the navigation can be difficult for some people so this tour should be very helpful and um, in addition to what's offered at ShareSell um, they do have some training but most people would need more training than what they have um, which is why I recommend Wealthy Affiliate um, because they have very thorough training and they've been training affiliates for the last 15 years so like I said they have literally thousands of hours of training and then they also have live training every week 
with Q&A so you can ask your questions about different topics related to affiliate marketing. So um, I definitely um, recommend that because the affiliate networks, they might give some training, but um, they don't they don't normally give enough training that you can just become a full-time affiliate marketer. You will have a lot of um, ebbs and flows and bump your head to figure it out. Um, okay, and con number three is that some advertisers do drop out. So you might be creating content around um, around one merchant's products and services and then they drop out and they decide not to be a part of um, or not to continue their affiliate program. So you have to be really careful and do your due diligence when you choose merchants and choose reliable companies with a good reputation because um, it takes a lot of it takes a lot of authority and a lot of trust and a lot of content to um, attract um, people to these products and services online. So if you spend your time creating content, you want to um, make sure that you're directing your your recommendations to a merchant that's going to um, uphold their end of the deal. Okay, so who is ShareSell for? ShareSell is for bloggers, people who want to make more money, um, people who want to make money online. It's for existing businesses who um, want to increase their revenue with performance marketing. Um, affiliate marketing is one of the best ways for existing businesses to really increase their income and to market their businesses because they only pay for an action whether that's for a lead or whether that's for a sale it's unlike um, paid advertising where you pay per click or um, you you pay like up front it's not like uh, even promo products where you pay for the products and then you um, hope the ROI is there or you pay for um, you pay for business cards and you hope that by giving them out you'll have a certain ROI most of the time it does work but um, or a lot of times it does work if you think it out and plan it out strategically but with affiliate marketing you only pay when you get an action you only pay when you get a sale or you only pay when you get a lead so it's um, a little different and I definitely recommend it for existing businesses and for those who want to make money with affiliate marketing, you definitely should take a look at ShareSell. Okay, so this this right here is just showing you the training that ShareSell does offer. So they have training to show you how to use the interface. They have affiliate interface training, and they also have merchant interface training. Um, and then they have a basic course called affiliate marketing for bloggers so this um, basic course it teaches you entry level how does affiliate marketing work but um, there's much more depth that you might want to know um, in order to be really successful with affiliate marketing so um, okay so I wanted to show you what the BBB is saying about ShareSell. They have an A plus rating right now, and so they have a good reputation from that standpoint. If you look at the BBB as a good sign of credibility, then you'll be happy to see this. Um, the price is free for publishers; it's six fifty for merchants. And so overall, I definitely recommend ShareSell. Um, and let's get let's dive into this tour. Okay, so right now I'm logged on to ShareSell. Let me log out so you can see what it looks like on the outside. So this is what, if you were to go to ShareSell right now, this is what you would see. As you can see, they have a lot of um, good merchants. Okay, and then let's get logged on.
okay so when i log on to share a cell the first thing you see is the activity a lot of times if um a lot of times it'll show sales and things here and it's not necessarily for just the um companies that you are a part of the affiliate programs for um they'll show activity of different merchants here so if um like around the holidays you'll see a lot of different promotions or you'll see sales and different things so you can uh, create content around a promotion that's coming up and um, help these merchants to get more sales for during their promotion times okay um, so that's nice to see the, the activity and as you can see here it'll show you um, which merchants are performing the best for you and so that information can help you too because then you can kind of have an idea about which uh, promotions your audience is responding most to or what type of solutions they're looking for and over time as you uh, watch things like this as you watch your top merchants and you watch your activity and you watch your reports and things you'll kind of get a better idea of what things your audience will really like versus what they don't and that's helpful for you um, as a publisher because then you can choose more merchants that have similar um, solutions or that um, will have things of interest for your audience so as you can see, there's lots of different reports that you can pull, um, lots of data that you can look at. And when you come here, this is where you can actually look for merchants. So as you can see, they have the merchant categories they have lots of different categories here and there's you can see there's lots of different merchants in each one so they're uh, really I guess you can say heavy or they have a lot of programs that are in the accessories niche art music photography um, books media automotive business clothing uh, computers and electronics, education, food and drink, health, home and garden. And so if you, um, depending on what niche your business is in, your publishing business is in, then you can choose. Um, they also have here their trending merchants, and this is based off of who's getting the most sales. And you can see they have, uh, they tell you how much commission you would get per sale and then they tell you what's the average um, that the, that these are people are paying out over the last seven days so um, it's helpful because then you can um, you can choose programs that would fit fit you and you can also create your business plan um, around real numbers okay so let's take a look at um, some of these programs let's dive deeper so you can see um, the process of choosing some good affiliate programs okay let's start a health and fitness site let's go for health okay so as you can see um, find your trainer 10% um, per sale let's look at some more details if you want to look at more details you just click here you can see the average sale that people are uh, the average sale that people are making and um, the average commission is there and this is the refund rate and the cookie duration now the cookie duration tells you 
that if someone was to click on your link today um, and they they didn't buy today they have up to 90 days to buy and you would still be credited with the sale um, now cookie durations can vary um, as you can let's check out this one you'll see so you see this one is 30 days so the person will have to make the buying decision within 30 days of clicking on this uh, affiliate program link in order for you to get the payout and it can range um, affiliate programs like Amazon have 24 hour um, cookie duration so the person will have to make the purchase within 24 hours of clicking your link in order for you to get the sale and so that can um, be, be good and bad um, with Amazon they have a really well established reputation so a lot of times when Amazon affiliates um, refer to them they are able to get the 24 hour sale and um, make money but it is nice to have this extra time because sometimes customers will want to think about it more they'll want to go back and visit they'll want to watch videos about um, their buying decision before they actually make it so this gives them 90 days to actually take into consideration your recommendation and then make the purchase and you'll still be able to get the sale so um, you can see this information here but if you want to know more about the company like I don't think this is enough to actually make the decision whether or not you should recommend um, this company so I would go actually to their website and read read their website find out what uh, products and services they offer possibly purchase the products and services um, get a sample and decide if it's a quality product or service that you can really stand behind and once you decide on that then uh, <clears throat> then you can start to create content and promote the company but you really want to know for sure that um, it's a good company that has um, a good track record and good products and services and if it is a startup you still want to be confident that they're gonna um, stay in business that you won't be doing all this work to promote the company and waste your time okay so as you can see there are a lot of options and so if you were to choose health and wellness as a niche it's kind of like too broad because um, like this is Brazilian bear so this isn't necessarily what you would want to probably put on a site that's about losing weight um, enema supply maybe not I mean maybe you could talk about uh, you know Clean, keeping the colon clean or something like that and that would be a part of health and fitness that you would focus or niche down into so that you can really promote products and services like this but you really have to niche down um, in order to be really effective with um, attracting the right audience and making sales okay so as you can see that was um, you can see some of the products and services that are there and then let's go to clothing they had a lot of um, affiliate programs inside of clothing so when you go here you can see there are lots of different clothing companies um, that have affiliate programs and a lot of, sometimes um, people who are just getting started they know about the Amazon Associates program and they'll focus on that but sometimes you can get a better affiliate commission um, by working with a company like ShareSell you can see 15 percent commission for Amazon a lot of the commissions are less than eight percent for many of the categories so you you can uh, work with different companies here 
And then a lot of the companies will um, have good products and services. ShareSale has a very nice selection. So you can find products and services that um, nice clothing stores or nice affiliate products that you can really promote and feel confident about. So I think that's, um, I think we did a good tour. Let's look at how you would get your links. So if you decided, <clears throat> like let's say um, we want to go and do a video or go and create a podcast or go and create an article and we want to create, uh, we need our link. Um, so you would go here to get your links and these links are tracking links so that um, you go here and select URL only and then this would be the tracking link that I would take to recommend this if, if I were to recommend this service so when I write my content then I would use I can um, hyperlink similar to this I can hyperlink the using this tracking link I can add this tracking link into my content so when people click on it then it'll track that transaction and I'll be credited with the sale so this tracking link technology is something that they have through the affiliate networks and some merchants um, install the tracking link technology into their websites so that they can have the capability of running their affiliate programs in-house but ShareSell is a very good, uh, they have very good tracking technology. Um, they're able to track fraudul fraudulent clicks and different things like that. And they, um, a lot of companies who do their own affiliate programs have trouble with um, tracking things like that. So you take this link and you can add it into your content and then that's how you would be credited with those referrals. Um, okay, so any of the programs, if you wanted to um, be a part of any of the any of the programs, then you would just click Join Program. I'll show you how it goes. And you want to read the terms and service. Um, the terms and service are usually here and you really do want to read them because it'll tell you what if you decide to do paid advertising it'll tell you what keywords you can use what keywords you cannot use um, sometimes they won't allow you to bid on their brand it'll tell you whether or not you can link directly to their website so when your um, when your ad is in the search engines and you refer the traffic from search to a landing page it can uh, some sometimes the companies will allow you to link directly to their page so that the customer never knows that uh, the ad wasn't placed by the company um, but some companies want you to take the customer from the search engines to your own website and then convert them to a sale from your website now um, so you have to know whether or not the company allows you to direct link or whether the company only allows you to um, bring the traffic to your website and then convert them from there or um, and which keywords you can bid on because you can actually be banned for um, breaking the rules and if you're banned you can even be banned after you've accumulated the income so you can have a balance sitting in your um, account waiting to be paid out and then they find out that you earn that income breaking the rules and then you, you won't get paid out so you really do want to read the terms and services and make sure that you abide by the rules a lot of times they'll also even have recommended keywords that you can bid on and it'll give you ideas for the content that you can create 
um, or the the um, ads that you can place so yeah see here goes the keyword bidding policy you're not allowed to bid on any of these keywords so after you've read the terms and service the agreement then you um, they want to know about how you plan to promote their products and services what is your marketing plan and so you um, you include whether you'll be doing content marketing whether you'll be doing uh, trade shows or whether you'll be doing social media you include which type of promotional methods you plan to use um, if you're going to be using PPC paid advertising then they want to know which terms do you plan to bid on and uh, then you can you click that you've read the terms and services and you join the program so I think this was um, a pretty thorough walkthrough of ShareASale and how it goes I hope it introduced you to how you can make money with ShareASale and how you can use ShareASale how to join the programs there um, how to find valid affiliate programs how to do your due diligence to make sure that you're uh, partnering with programs that are quality and ethical and that won't just bail out on you and leave you hanging um, I hope you got a lot from this video if you have any more questions you can leave them in the comment section below if you want my help to help you set up your online business whether that is getting set up with ShareSell or um, whether that is getting your website driving the traffic to your website um, any of that um, or learning to monetize your website maybe you want to do affiliate marketing maybe you want to do e-commerce maybe you want to do different ways of monetizing your website I love it if um, you would join me at Wealthy Affiliate I offer premium coaching to the premium members there and um, I would help you if you have any questions you can send your questions to me or I can direct you to someone who can answer your questions um, also the training there is very thorough so I can help you through that training um, and you can get all the information about that in the description box below you can also get the information about that um, by stopping by howtoentrepreneur.org visiting this area here where it says free websites and training right here and you can sign up for the training there I also have a free course on starting and growing a business from um, from idea to enterprise it gives you 10 steps and it's perfect for startups or established entrepreneurs so definitely take advantage of these resources that I have here and take advantage of the coaching program that I have you can get started right here so hopefully this was helpful for you if it was please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this more tours of different affiliate networks or um, you have questions about affiliate marketing or online marketing um, please leave your questions below subscribe to this channel give me a thumbs up and go and reach your peak potential have a blessed day bye